It's almost Eid. It's almost Eid. Hi guys. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, where have you been my whole life? Like sis, where have you been? Just touch on that red button and subscribe to join the farm. And if you are a returning subscriber, oh my God, I love you so much. Thanks for the support. I see it and I appreciate it. I love you guys. Today is Wednesday and inshallah, this Friday is going to be Eid. So I decided to vlog on cattle because it's all about sacrifice. What do you understand by a sacrifice? Sacrificing for a loved one, a friend, or... This sacrifice we're talking about is sacrificing for your God, your Lord, Allah. Stay tuned for more interesting content from me. Hi guys, Assalamu Alaikum and welcome back to my channel. It's another very good day. I'm super excited. We're going to have another vlog. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd appreciate it if you touch on that red button. And uh, today we are going to be vlogging about cattle. Well, when you get, it's time for either at her. The first thing that comes to mind is cattle, the fear of sacrifice. So, inshallah, this time we are going to vlog on cattle. <laughs> hi guys so we are actually in accra now we are actually going to survey the market and see more about it so i'll meet you in a jiffy when i get there okay stay tuned and keep watching keep watching and appreciate it if you continue watching thank you so i'll see you then And I'm super excited because the place is really big and I'm waiting on air front to come in, take me through this tour and uh, let's see how it goes. This is big! Now this is mama. <laughs> this is so big, like this is big. In as much as I'm excited about this, I am so afraid of the house, you guys. I am. May Allah protect us. Look at that guy in there. These people are really doing a good job because I am scared. It doesn't matter. I love cows. Like, of course. And please, disclaimer. I am not watching anything. So no one can worry me for me. I beg. I'm not actually buying a cow. I just came to vlog so you people would see. I'm not buying a cow. So please, please, please. I know my people. Those are calling me for your meat. <laughs> Okay, so we have different names for this one. She says they are harmless like this one. I want to say hi, hi, hi. But I am so afraid of this. And I'll go through the names with you. As so hi, guys. Today I am at the Hoday. And we said they normally um, been the the animal um, animal bought from Burkina Faso. So we have Okay, Kama Kare, Raji and Gudali. So So I'm basically smiling right now because this is I am so afraid, guys. Like, I am so afraid. But he said nothing will happen. So, wait, call my baby, Farwa. Like, they don't hurt anyone. Ah, so me, me, me. I am like, hi. <laughs> Ah, 
Kama Kare. No, this is the Kama Kare. I think the Kama Kare is very. Oh my God! Can I charge? Jaba, Jaba. Jaba, Jaba. Okay. Jaba, Jaba. Jaba, Jaba. This is Jaba, Jaba. So, Gary, you want to make a use of? What is the name? Are you doing? How many? How many children? This is Jabaj. Subhanallah. Ah, be ikoni, do ba be ikoni. Wow. Hey, so do you? This is how many years, Kina? How many years? Ah, how many years? So, 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 how many years? Wangada Wangaduka Burkina. Burkina Kiftoda. Yeah, Burkina Kiftoda. So all the way from Burkina. Jaba Jaba. Yeah, Jaba Jaba. Kama Kare. Kama Kare. Jaba Jaba. Yeah, Rahaji. Rahaji. Sokoto Gudali. Sokoto Gudali. Okay. Okay, guys. So now we are going to talk about the prices, and then we'll get back to you. Okay. So it's actually a very very big place. I don't. There we go. Okay. Okay guys, hi, assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Now I'm actually at this place and we are going to this place. I wish I had socks, like I'd go in there. But the way the place is and all of that, I really can't end that. And I'm wearing more of a hill like sandals. So we are going to check on the prices. And I've seen the bigger one, which is like 12,000. That's a whole lot. And now we are on this. So I don't know if you can see, but that is it. So there they come, and uh, you're preferring like a last thing now. No one, eh? Oh, no, eh? Oh, no, so this is thirty five. She come out, Karen. Okay, come out, Karen. No, my little girl, tell her. I put special colors. No, my tiny school girl, she's just not so nice. Who did Anna do say? Anna, Anna, the Amma ba som baki de yo ba ba. Ba chika som baki. Ba chika som baki ba. Amma Farida Brown Brown na. Yeah, Anna so. Lah wangga nggak i? Oh, oh my god! No ah? Hundred? Hey, by the way, you are lawa at first. ありがとう。こんばんは、ビンチンだ、スケチバカタンバヤバ。こんばんは、ビンチンスケチン。ドンドゥ。おお、オッケー、レッツゲイ、アイキャン。エンマナ、ティ。え、パスナチンカマンド
I'm like you. I'm doing a good job, guys. <laughs> well, like, Kim Bear, Kim. Kim. Yeah, you're done. Ah, uh, me. <laughs> okay, so we are actually done now, and we are now going back to where we get ships. Or uh, let's see, let's go. So you follow me, and then we go to the next one. Now, go with it. Come back with yeah. I think I was one of me recording. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much. Now, Gordy, if I want to do that, I'm not going to do that. 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 The Jinx Town Ranch in Accra, Ghana is home to over 1,000 cattle. Yes, you have right, thousand cattle. Here, caretakers are conscious and serious about taking care of the animals, mainly to keep them healthy and free from disease outbreak. Right here, we can get a sheep for as low as 150 grams a CD. That's very cheap. Okay. Okay, so Muslims during the month of the Hijra, that is the 12th month of the Islamic calendar, normally observe Eid, Fil Islam, Eid An, Eid Al Fitr, and Eid Al Adha. In Islam, we have two celebrations, yes, Eid Al Fitr and Eid Al Adha. And during Eid Al Adha, which is coming on on this week, inshallah, most Muslims slaughter a cow. A sheep, a goat, an oxen, buffalo, or a camel, depending on the amount of money you have. And this sacrifice is made mainly to appreciate the willingness and devotion of our dearest Prophet Ibrahim والسلام, to sacrifice his son Ismail to Allah, which was then changed in exchange for a sheep. Most Muslims actually observe this slaughtering. And when we slaughter, we take one third for family, one third for our neighbors, and one third for the less privileged. Mm -hmm. We divide the meat into three parts. But you can also just share all to the needy or the less fortunate. When one witness this food here, that is the slaughtering, his sins will be forgiven as a result of that. And that is why most people actually sacrifice mainly for the sake of Allah. But can I tell you the story going back to the prophet Adam, the first prophet on earth? Yes, the one called Adam, prophet Adam. When he told his children about Allah's sacrifice, one gave his sacrifice with his highest level of excel, whilst the other didn't. So, when you want to slaughter, you need to take certain things into consideration. Let me run through some short tips on this. Now, to sacrifice, the first thing one has to check is you have to be a Muslim. You have to be observing your salat and also understand and observe the welfare of the animal and treating that animal with mercy. That is number one. Number two goes with the livestock. The age, the type, the animal, its welfare and its health is so important. So the animal has to be either a camel, a cow, sheep, goats, oxen, buffalo, cows. The cow has to be at least two years of age. Yes, two years of age. We do not sacrifice younger than that. Sheep also has to be at least one year of age. The animal should also be free from defects like loss of sight or leg. The timing. For our sacrifice to be accepted, 
we have to make sure the sacrifice occur after Salat al Eid. Yes, yeah, so in Salat before Eid, the, you have to observe your Eid prayers before you slaughter. And whenever someone is supposed to make a sacrifice, the person is not supposed to eat. You fast for that morning. Yes. So you slaughter. After the slaughtering, then you can break your fast. Please enjoy this vlog and I'm sure to give you more interesting stuff. You stay here.